Hi guys, today's video is going to show you how easy it is to take a photo and turn it into a painting using Photoshop Elements. Start by opening your photo in expert mode of the Photoshop Elements photo editor. Then click filter, artistic, and dry brush to open up a window where you can start playing around with this filter. First thing I like to do is go down in the bottom left and enlarge the photo to 100% so I can really see what's going on. Then over in the right you have three different sliders that you can move around until you get the effect that you're looking for. For a painted effect, I like the brush size to be bigger because I think it makes it look more like a painting. Depending on what sort of photo you're using, you might want your brush detail a little bit higher or a little bit lower. For this photo, I think it looks better with a little bit less detail in it. You can also move around this texture slider to add some texture, but I don't like how that looks with this photo, so I'm going to keep this down here at a 1. When we click OK, we'll see that suddenly our photo has transformed into something that looks a lot more like a painting. I like to do that twice, filter, artistic, dry brush, hit OK to give it, give it even more of a little bit of an impressionist look so there's not quite as much detail. It makes it more recognizable as a painting. At this point, to add some contrast, we'll click Ctrl or Command L to open our Levels box. Grab the rightmost slider and pull it toward the left. This is going to brighten up those whites. And then grab the leftmost slider and pull it a little bit toward the right to darken the darks back up to give it more contrast. You could save it right now, or if you're going to print it on a home printer, I like to up the saturation. I prefer to print these out on a home printer because then you can print directly onto watercolor paper, which gives it a really beautiful texture. So Control or Command U to open up the saturation box. And just grab the saturation slider and pull it a little bit toward the right. That's probably too far. Just a little bit toward the right to bump up the colors a bit more. You're ready to save your photo and print it out.